Greetings all 3,295 members of the Get Rag Gang Welcome to day 60 of my weight loss journey My name is Jamal and I am now down 74.8 pounds hey, Yo, that is a 6.3 pound loss since yesterday Woo, what a heck of a day Really lost a bunch of weight yesterday And you know what that means folks it's a Percy! Let me see those Percy emojis in the comments or just type Percy because it's a new personal best. What is today's date? It's Tuesday the 12th of March 2024. And there it is folks, day 69, new personal best. Let's get right. Get right gang, welcome, welcome to day 60 of your boy's weight loss journey. You know who it is. And what a wonderful day indeed, because we have a incredible weight loss since yesterday of 6.3 pounds. And you know who's not surprised? This guy, because I pretty much called it. In fact, I specifically called it yesterday. And I said today will be a good result because yesterday was a two pound gain due to some water weight. And I was not lying. I knew what was gonna happen. And it's exactly what I predicted six pounds down today and almost out of those 70s 470s in just three days so i'm um, most likely going to get out of there tomorrow or the day after either way doesn't matter we're making consistent progress and everything is going really well here is an updated weight graph i apologize i haven't shown you guys a weight graph in a while but here it is. This weight graph shows the updated weight every single day since the start of this weight loss journey in January. And as you can see, it's pretty much trending downwards at the same pace, straight line down all the way to our goal weight. So any fluctuations have been minor and get corrected very, very soon. So I hope there's people out there who take inspiration from that because I know fluctuations can be very difficult to deal with and can really throw you off. But as you can see from my journey and my weight chart, very, very minor, they're very, very minor indeed. I had a two pound gain yesterday and a six pound gain, a six pound loss today. So that just shows you fluctuations, especially when you track properly, are just a minor inconvenience. Keep pushing. So what did I get up to on day 60? Well, it was a very interesting day actually, because not only did I do my normal exercise, my normal home exercise as I talk about all the time. Here is the information on how many calories I burned today, for example, another 3,500 calories over the course of several hours. So I'm really, really tackling and hitting those calories hard, burning through those fats hard. Also last night I went out and I went for a little walk around town. Didn't have anything in particular in mind of where I wanted to go. I just wanted to go for a walk and I ended up stopping at a few different locations such as an arcade which i realized there's an arcade next to me which is open really late so as you can see i was in an arcade just hanging out everybody had pretty much left and it was just about to close but the owner in there said i could just have a look around really quickly and i wanted to ask them a few questions just so i can get a feel for the place and how i would interact with it if i was to go there again and it's a really cool place they've got a lot of cool little features in there a lot of a lot of games that i want to play arcade style games They've got a bar as well for the adults. They've got mini golf, all sorts of fun stuff. So that's my type of establishment. I'll be going there again. Also during that walk, I ended up stopping. <laughs> you guys aren't gonna believe this, but during that walk, I ended up stopping at a chicken and chip shop. And not just any chicken and chip shop, it was my favorite chicken and chip shop in town. I have never been to this chicken and chip shop in person, to this establishment, but I've ordered from there maybe a hundred times at this point i don't know many times so i know this chicken very very well and i ended up stopping at this chicken and chip shop for one specific reason to buy a bottle of water or should i say bottle of water that overused joke you guys love to use in the states bottle of water there laugh it up <laughs> so anyway i stopped at this chicken and chip shop i went to get some water went to get some water and to my surprise they don't even sell water <laughs> That's how unhealthy this place is. So I ended up just talking to boss man for a little bit and just be saying, yo, Wagwan, <laughs> I have cause he knows, he knows me very well. It's the same guy that used to deliver my food like every week, sometimes two, three times a week. So he knows who I am, but I've never actually been to the store. So he was surprised to see me. 
probably thought I was gonna buy a bunch of food again, but I was just like, yo, boss, you got any water? He's like, nah, no water. I was like, that's a shame. And then I dipped. So that was a pretty cool feeling to go to my favorite chicken and chip shop in the establishment. Like it's easily the best chicken in this town. And then, trust me, I've tried all of them. It's easily the best chicken in this town. And I just rocked up there, said what's up and left without buying anything. So that was a pretty good win for me. A nice feeling to be able to, to be able to do that at this point where I can just walk in a place which was pretty much my addiction and be like, nah boss, I'm good. Hey right, gang gang, so I just went to the, I just went to the chicken and chip shop where I normally order my chicken and chips from. I've never been to this store before. It's like 20 minutes away from where I live. So I always order it, but I went there I just went there to buy some water. My man don't even have water, so I didn't buy nothing. But the fact that I just went to my favorite chicken and chip shop, the best wings in my town, by the way, these wings are banging, like they're unbelievable. And I just went to my favorite chicken and chip shop. I didn't buy nothing, walked out, <laughs> saved my money or left. So yeah, levels, man, leveling up. Now I can li literally walk in my favorite chicken store and I'm like, nah, I don't want none of that. And then dipped, so levels guys levels peace and it wasn't even difficult and it's not even like i ate a bunch of food that day where i could easily pass up on it i had the same food as i've been having the last week which was two cans of tomatoes and two cans of sardines for 500 to 600 calories that's all i ate that, that day so i should have been very very hungry and it should have been easy to succumb but it didn't happen and it wasn't even difficult walked in and left so that's a nice little non-scale victory and it just shows you where i'm at at this point in my weight loss journey where things which were a problem for me in the past are now nothing and no problem because i'm so committed and dedicated to this weight loss journey and hitting my goals and my reasons why my personal reasons why reaching those as well so it's pretty much in cruise control now i've said this before but i feel like i'm hitting my stride where it's just now every day is just the same routine some days is harder than others where some days i don't feel that motivated but i always get it done and for those who follow me on instagram you probably already saw this in my story today but my big beautiful get right gang hoodie is here look at this beautiful logo which i designed myself and i'm very proud of it i think this looks clean and will probably last the test of time where in 10 years i'll still say this looks clean so my hoodies here fix fix the charm i'll definitely be, be getting some more of these but the only problem for me is i'm going to be losing weight very quickly so this one here is a 4xl and i imagine in the next month or two i won't be a 4xl anymore so i can't go crazy with my hoodies but I love it and if you want one you know where to get it getrightgang.com and there you have it folks that's the day 16 updates lots to talk about and lots to cover but the most important thing is i am making consistent process and as you know sometimes the weight does go up but at this point it's just going to be smooth sailing the weight's going to go back down within the next day or two i'm hitting those weight loss goals and i appreciate all of your support guys thank you so much to all of the members all of the commenters everybody who's who has my back everyone who sends emails you guys are absolutely amazing we're going all the way folks so stay tuned let's keep pushing and of course let's get right